Wagwan, Wagwan. Welcome to my channel. I am the DIY Yadi. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, I'm doing uh, ignition switch replacement on a 2002 BMW X5. Um, this X5, it's actually having an um, issue with the stereo system, you know, cutting out at times and, you know, periodic cutout on and off, okay? So jumping into this, first thing I'm going to get is this uh, Phillips screwdriver and the lower um, steering wheel column cover removed. And once that's removed, you can pop that lower cover off. And um, you might want to use the screwdriver in between the grooves of that, um, like I'm doing here, in between the grooves to pry down on it. Basically, once the screw is out, it just snaps together. All right. Then after that, you want to get the top section of that um, cover removed. So what I'm doing, I tilt the steering wheel down to give me some more um, space to uh, access that top cover. Should be a screw in the top there, but this one didn't have it. it was, it's just sitting there. So got that removed. So the next thing I'm going to do here is this is the actual ignition switch where you see the wires plugged in there. Um, there are two uh, screws that hold the ignition switch and then there is like um, another part that goes over top of the switch. But this lock I'm doing here is to unlock to... Uh, unlock the switch and then you just lift up on it and move that move that out of there so hooking it up back you'd be doing the reverse of that this this uh, purple wire that you see here that is the issue on the switch that section is the part that usually gives the problem all right and when that happens you can also see your airbag light come on you can have um, brake light issues there are a number of things all right so this is the new switch all right so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get this old one out so there's a screw there and this one here which is a um, Torx head screw okay so I'm gonna get that screw removed and basically this is like a cover around the um, switch so you have to move that out of the way to, to access that switch okay so that's one of the screws there and move this wire to give me some space and also um, I'll have a link in the description for uh, the parts used in this video along with um, some other uh, good information you might be interested in if you want to check that out okay so the description box is right below the video in case you don't know so getting this other screw out of there and this is like um, it's, it's kind of like a cover around the ignition um, switch so you can't you can't actually get to the the screws for the ignition switch until you move this part out of the way. Okay. So I'm gonna get a. Once I get the screw out of there, I wanna show you what this cover looks like. It's in a kind of tight position, tight to get to. But take your time. Once you once you get it loose, you can you know get to it with your fingers and um, unscrew it out of there okay so that's the screw there and then this little cover it's like a clamp that goes over it basically okay so all you need to do is once you get the screws out you just move it back out of the way and then you're gonna see those two red dots you're seeing there are the actual um, screws that are holding the um, ignition switch so you might have to clean some of that um, the red that red paint that you see you might have to clean a little bit of it out to find a, a groove for the, the head of the screw 
but once you find ahead of the screw you just want to unloosen it you don't want to necessarily take or remove the, the screw just um all you need to do is just unloosen it enough to get the um switch out just like that and the plug is already unplugged so it comes right out all right so that's the old one and i'm gonna go ahead and get the replacement one in there and remember i said there is a link in the description box for the new um this new switch if you're interested in getting one all right so we're gonna do the reverse so basically it's like a little slot that this just slides into all right so space we're working with is a little tight so we just gotta wiggle it in there and also i would i would suggest to um unplug the battery when you're doing this this part of the job or before you start doing this part of the job i should have shown that on camera but i didn't but just to be on the safe side once you know before you unplug the ignition just disconnect your battery okay so got it got a new one in place so now i'm retightening the um these bolts or these um, bolts that uh, hold it in place so this this switch is plastic so you just want to um, tighten down on this bolt until you feel it snug you don't want to like torque down as is you know as if it's a metal um, part that you're working with this is actually plastic okay so got it back in place so next thing i'm going to do here is get the screws back in okay so this little weight was actually up here and i have to get that back in place not sure what the purpose of that weight is but took it off so i'm going to replace it okay so this is a little um difficult doing it with one hand so I'm gonna put the camera down and get it get it caught and um, get it in place and then resume it's a little difficult but okay so got that in place and I'm gonna tighten the, the bolt and like I said, that's uh, these bolts are Torx bolts. These these two at least, the one the the two that hold the um, the switch in place. Those are uh, flathead, like small flathead screwdriver. Okay, so get everything back in place as it was uh, when we pulled it apart. And then at this point. We can um, reconnect our wires to the switch. So just push that in place, and once you get it, make sure it's in place, you push down on that lock. All right. So you can you can actually you know reconnect your battery and test it at this point. Make sure everything is good. That um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my covers back on in place. Column covers. The top one first, and then the lower one. So basically the top one has to click down or the bottom one has to click into the top one all right i'm gonna get that done come back okay there we go got my screw back in place so at this point i'm gonna crank it up 
and give it a quick test. So the radio, you can see the radio came right on, lit up right away. Getting some sound. All right, so ignition switch solved the issue. If you're having that problem, uh, radio works periodically or radio doesn't come on at all, um, brake lights issue or your airbag light, you might see a dim airbag light on your dash. This could be your issue here, okay? So I'm DIY Yachty. Hope this video helped you. And remember, uh, parts, link to the parts are in the description box below. All right. Bless up. Till next time.